What's up, Fitted Squad? This is Brad, aka Too Fitted, coming to you with another quick video. And this morning, uh, we're going to be heading on over to Low Life Projects. Today is the day. We're going to be getting it. Well, be dropping the car off to get lowered. Um, going with the air set up here. Uh, it's going to be a better setup than the Ultima. Uh, I'm not sure how the trunk is going to look just yet. I haven't really gone over those details. But. <clears throat> do have everything loaded hold on all right so i do have everything there we go everything in here loaded got the line harness stuff in there but yeah uh the struts are there of course so yeah i'm gonna have to check to see what we're gonna do in terms of actually put putting a system in here i'm going to take this mat out of course but Almost time, almost time. Also, shout out to homie Allison. She made the tag frame. I'm going to put a link in the description for her Instagram. If you're interested in getting one made, she can hook you up there. And let her know to fit it sent you. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna get anything for it, but just, just kind of let her know that I sent you. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and start getting everything ready to head on out all right but as far as the wheels um, before we head out um, I need to place an order for some tires so that's about to come and I'm probably gonna place an order for some tires for a daily um, we still drive it from time to time kind of taking turns on who drives it so we don't have too many miles on our cars but we do still drive it um, all right, so I am here at Low Life Projects. Just dropped the car off. Um, yeah, so I'm dropping it off. He said I can pick it up tomorrow. Um, I told him there's no rush. I'm off for the next few days, so um, take his time. But yeah, we're gonna have a pretty dope setup. But yeah, look at this. Pretty dope. It was uh, employees Lexus that just rolled out. That was dope too. That's clean too. Got the Altima out here too. Sheesh. So they yeah, they're definitely doing it. Now I'm not going with the I'm not trying to go super low like that with the, the camera and everything. But we, we're gonna keep it uh traditional for me. But yeah, um I'm not gonna stay here too long. Just drop the car off and we got a few places to go. But I'll pick up the camera most likely once this is done. So stay tuned. Alright, so got the call. The car is done, so right now I'm just waiting for the Uber to show up, then I'm going to go and pick it up. Then, on the way, well before, I'm on the way back, going to stop to get uh, my alignment. Then I'll head home, so I'm doing it right away. Um, the wheels and tires, that's going to be changed uh, at a later date. Just waiting for another surprise to show up. Um, it's going to be installed at the same time. But I'm not sure. It's probably going to be a separate video. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might do it all in one video. Even though it's going to be. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah. That's, the Uber should be coming right around the corner that way. So I'll pick up the camera once we get to the car. All right. I am here. I'm going back to get the car now. All right. This is where I'm at. Showed you the, the cars mostly here last time. But, but yeah, cars back there. This, this is gonna be a monster. <laughs> is that a S chassis back there? Kind of looks like it. Yep. <laughs> All right, about to see what it looks like in the trunk.
nice and clean and simple. Yeah, nice and clean. I so like I had it. the compressor actually in the back. The only reason why mm -hmm. is because your spare, you don't even have a spare. Right. But basically in there, mm -hmm. the flooring is not so deep. So it's gotcha. only a yay deep, so I couldn't put the compressor in there. Okay. But if you look underneath, manifold is right there. Okay. Nice and tucked away right there. All the lines are right in the car and the harness is right, in, right underneath. I just basically cut this out okay. so I have a little bit of room, but you still have some structure there. Okay, perfect. Um, maintenance wise, all you're doing is draining the water once a month. Okay. Literally, very simple. All you're gonna do is turn this little guy over, mm -hmm. and this little guy's right here, and then basically, all in all, it's gonna pull the pressure out. Okay. And then when you hold it with your finger, okay. a little bit of water is gonna come out. Once okay. the water stops, you just put this right back on, brother. All right, perfect. That's the compressor sticking on right there, mm -hmm. like normal, and then it stops at a certain PSI. Okay. If you like, go ahead and hop in the drive. All right, so this is the ride height. The numbers are a lot different than my last setup. Um, I'll kind of go over that once I get out of here. I'm gonna kind of get out of these people's way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the shop to get my alignment. All right, so I am here just pulling up. Uh, this is the ride height. I'm gonna have to mess with it again, uh, mostly when I get the um, the wheels installed, so I can see exactly where I want to be and how it's gonna look. But yeah, a ride was actually very bouncy, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there. I said I can work on the um, the dampening to make it more stiff, but it was very <laughs> very bouncy. So I'm definitely going to have to do something about that. It was even more bouncy than with the Ultima. Yeah, that looks pretty gross to me. <laughs> but we, we, we aired out. Can't wait to get the wheels on. See how that fitment looks. But um, I don't think I'm going to be airing out until I really get the wheels on. But she definitely low lower than uh, I was with the Ultima. It's really down there. Alright, so I'm going to have to talk to him about this. But as you can see, after every about 4 seconds or so, it goes down to PSI on that one. So, I'll talk to them about that here in a moment. But let me see what they're talking about with this alignment. Alright, went and got checked in. I think, I don't know if this is my first alignment since they had this new rack. I think it is. I've been here with a couple homies since they've had it, but I think it's my first. So, looking good. Just a quick little video. Actually, you know what? All right, made it back home. So, um, when I got there to do the alignment, uh, I got there a few hours early, and they were pretty busy. So I had to leave and come back. So I left, went to see a movie. When I came back, got back in the car, I noticed the front passenger side was they had a slow leak so I went to try to do the alignment to see what could be done if anything just because I didn't want to drive as like fresh off of getting that changed so tried it they weren't able to align it so they said to come back so reach back out to the shop um, low life projects they said that I could come back when they open back up on Friday, but I work, so I won't be able to get there until Sunday. So, he said Sunday, first thing in the morning, he wants me to come over so he can take a look at it. But also, it is crazy bouncy. Like, it felt like it was getting worse as I was driving. And when I was on this overpass, like, I had to slow down a lot because it felt like the whole car was going to... It felt like it did come off the ground um, at some point, so it, it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna have, have him take a look at that as well on Sunday. 
don't want to really post this until they at least give it a shot to see what's up first and then we'll go from there but so far I'm not a big fan um, the Ultima was nowhere near as bouncy even after I felt the shocks and everything or I mean this um, the coilovers the bags were built on felt like they were shot but it still wasn't even anywhere near as bouncy as this um, but yeah but even when I had my stock wheels on the ultimate it wasn't as bouncy and even I did get somebody saying that potentially it's because of the um, wheels and tires but yeah I'm gonna have them take a look at it on Sunday and yeah I guess I'll pick up the video around then all right it is Sunday so I'm about to head on over to Low Life and we will see what's good with this setup. Decided to fully air out because it looked weird when just the front right was aired out and everything else was normal. Well, weirder than this fitment. Sheesh. That looks good. There was another one I wanted to show as well is this uh, cord very clean oh that's clean too clean. very cool all right so I think portion of the issue with why the car is so bouncy is because it's too much air in those bags. My last setup, I would usually ride around 65, 70 with the 20s on. Um, but when I think about it, I didn't have my stocks on. So I don't know how it really felt with the stocks on. Um, while it's bagged, I don't, I don't even know if I ever had the stocks on it with this bag. And I think about it. Um, and, and the stocks for the other one, those were 18s. And these, I think these are 16s? Since this is the base model, let me see. Now these are 17s. But um, yeah, but to ride on this, the fronts have to be one, um, what is it 120 125 around there and the rears could be 100 so that's basically double what i was riding with the 20s on so i'm gonna have them take a look while or at least explain some stuff while i'm here uh, but the main issue is to fix this slow leak well it's pretty fast it's not really slow but fix this leak I think it might be a simple issue, um, maybe just like the top hat or something like that. But have them take a look at that and then see what they say about the bag. If what I suspect is really the case, um, what we'll do is we'll reevaluate after I get my 20s on because the tires are already in. Um, just haven't really had time to make it to the shop. Also, I'm waiting for. Um, another goodie to show up at the same time so tomorrow getting the tires replaced on the daily and then after that I'm going to go ahead and get the roof wrapped on this and hopefully by the day after or that day the other part will arrive and once that arrives then I'll just get everything else done at once um, but I'm trying I'm gonna try not to drive with it on the stocks for right now um, so once this is done, it's basically gonna be parked until I really need to use it like when I get the roof wrap. So We will see how everything goes Since it's been like a week or so. I don't know how much I showed of the setup, but I do like how clean this is um, Also, There's not much space for anything in here can't even put a spare in here. It's crazy. Not that I had access to it, but you get what I'm saying. Yo, this is clean. This M3 is 
dope. Carbon fiber roof. I thought about doing a carbon fiber roof wrap, but decided against it. Just don't want to go overboard, but I got some trim pieces that will be coming in so we can get the chrome deleted. All right, so from the sounds of it, it is a bad fitting. Uh, not the top hat after all, so. The speed of the leak did seem like it was about the same as when I had a bad top hat leak um, with Ultima. So that's why I was kind of thinking it may have been it, but nope, bad fitting. So they're about to get that and swap it out. Missed the cold start, but sounds good. Pretty clean too. One of the cars I was considering. All right. Just started it up. the bubble test Just look at the actually I could have pulled it up on my phone but let's see Looks like it's staying. Yep, looks good. I don't know if you can see it, but it is staying, so that's a good sign. All right, so made it home. Uh, didn't lose any PSI. It was pretty normal on that front as far as the ride quality of course that was still the same still pretty bouncy so um, I'll go ahead and get this video out but what I'll be doing is for my next video I'll be getting some other stuff installed and I'll have the actual um, 20s on as well so once I do that then I'll kind of do an update on the quality of the ride so definitely stay tuned for my final verdict there but We'll go ahead and do that for the next video. Um, I will say their turnaround time, customer service, everything else, everything's been pretty great with them. Um, so I'm definitely not saying anything bad about them, but we'll see how it feels when I got my 20s on. But stock, it feels terrible. But yeah, um, before we go ahead and end this video, I wanna go ahead and do the comment of the day. And the comment of the day goes out to and if you'd like to be selected for comment of the day, make sure you leave a comment down below. Who knows, you could be next. But I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay fitted. Peace.